The following guided meditation was recorded as part of the Boston-based meetup group, Live Your Best Freaking Life. This guided meditation is interactive, meaning you are meant to do it while you journal. I will be providing instructions for you and guiding you every step of the way. During the meditation, there will be certain prompts instructing you to open up your journal and write. There is nothing you need to do. Simply open up a journal to a blank page, get a piece of paper, or even open up the notes app on your phone and follow along. I will first begin by getting you comfortable and settled into your body. Then together, we will progress through a series of visualizations. The beauty of this style of meditation, which I've designed, is that it allows you to write while you are in a deep, low state and capture ideas, capture states of being, capture feelings, and capture emotions. Make sure you are in a quiet space where you could be uninterrupted for the next hour. If you would like to join a live future meditation on Zoom, visit meetup.com and search for Live Your Best Freaking Life, guided meditation and journaling group now with nearly 1,500 members from around the world. Get your journal, a notebook, a blank piece of paper. If you don't have anything with you, you can type something out on your computer if you wish, or have like a blank Word document or, or whatnot. And if you have nothing near you, if you want to use your iPhone or your, your phone and just type into the notes app, that's fine. So to begin, I will guide you through every step of the way. Uh, in terms of the interactive nature. And the interactive nature is just between yourself and your journal. To begin, get settled in essentially into your body. And not only that, but take a moment to just really kind of settle into the fact that you're about to enter into a state of meditation. So right now represents kind of a transitional moment in between the physical realm, the day-to-day, the hustle and bustle of the world, your to-do lists, and then essentially a state of being where you are doing this for yourself. This is your own moment of peace and solitude and self-love for you. So if this is the only moment in your day where you are taking time to just sit with yourself in solitude, let this be a moment of empowerment. So that's kind of the the theme we're going to be carrying on. Settle into your body. And I want you to just really focus on a mantra we are going to say to ourselves together silently is, this is not a selfish time. This is a selfless time. This is not a selfish time. This is a selfless time. This is not a selfish time. This is a selfless time. And give yourself permission right now to really allow yourself to take time for yourself, for your mental health, for your well-being. And that that will be what we'll carry on. So to begin, you are seated in a stadium. This can be a concert hall. This can be where an orchestra plays. This can be where uh, performers, pop stars, musicians, you are seated right in the middle of this stadium and there is no one there in the seats. You are the only one there. And you know that in a few hours later in the day, your favorite performer in the entire world is going to be on stage. Maybe this is a singer, maybe this is a musician, maybe a comedian, and maybe this is someone that you've seen in concert, or maybe you've seen on TV or on YouTube, and maybe this is someone that you've never seen before. But this is someone where you have so much respect for them. They lift you up, they empower you when you hear their music or when you hear what they have to say. You feel like your life is improved. And I want you to really settle in with that feeling of anticipation. 
that feeling that you know this person is about to come on stage soon. And there's no one else there in the stadium, but soon the stadium starts to fill up. People start to enter in. And you are seated anywhere you would like. Maybe you are seated in the very front. Maybe you are seated in the very back, maybe off to the side, maybe down below, maybe up top. And you are sitting in the optimal seat for this concert or this performance. So for example, if the back is where the sound, the acoustics are the richest, that's where you are. If you love being in the front because you want the energy and you want to be able to see things on stage, that's exactly where you are. And slowly people start pouring in and it starts to fill up with people. And this person, or maybe it's a group of people who you've been waiting to see, they come out on stage. And it doesn't matter if this is someone that is a small singer, maybe an indie band or a very famous star. This person or this group of people, they come out and you feel the entire crowd start to go crazy. Everyone cheers and you feel this energy and this magic. But next, something unusual happens. The person or the people on stage, they welcome the crowd, they wave, but suddenly if they start walking directly towards you, they look your way, they point at you, they wave, and it is a very powerful moment because out of all the people, this person, this group, they're drawn to you. And in their microphone, they say three words, come up here. They point and you start making your way up to the stage. You are not scared, you are not anxious. You have no fear, no worry. And you start walking up to the stage and suddenly there you are. Instead of having faced the stage, looking at the people or the person, now you're standing right next to them, staring back at the audience. And suddenly this audience starts cheering. They start clapping and the person on stage says, hey, and they say your name and they say, everyone welcome this person to the stage and show them some love. Everyone starts cheering. And this moment may seem surreal, but essentially what's happening is perhaps hundreds or thousands of people. This is a packed house of people. Every single person is cheering for you. This is not a superficial kind of cheering they're not cheering because of the way you look or your outfit. They are cheering you on. They are supporting you. And as you look out into the crowd, you feel a sense of self-love. And as you look around the crowd, the people seem to go as far as the eye can see. You find that the people's faces start to dissolve. This is not something that seems unnatural. It is as if you can see all of these people's auras or their essences, their true natures. Suddenly, instead of people, you find yourself looking out at hundreds or thousands of orbs of light and all of them continue cheering you on. And perhaps you can choose to interpret this however you wish. Perhaps these orbs represent your ancestors, 
the sisterhood, the brotherhood, the humanhood, people from your past, whether your direct ancestry or something else. Perhaps these orbs of light represent your guardian angels, your spirit guides, or however you wish to interpret it. But in this moment, you feel truly, fully supported and loved. These orbs of light that once used to be a crowd, they start cheering you on and they start chanting. And there is a phrase that they start chanting over and over again. And this phrase is, you are blank. The blank is up to you to fill in right now. And let your subconscious decide what word it is. And this word is a very power powerful word. Perhaps it is you are strong. Perhaps it is you are confident. Perhaps it is you are letting go. And in your journal... You choose to write this phrase down right now. And as you write it down, take a moment to really focus on the words, the way that they visually look in front of you. Maybe just the way it feels to write them or even the way it feels to type them out. And suddenly all of these orbs of light they start to combine, they start to merge together slowly. The person who was on stage next to you has now slowly faded away. And now you are still standing there on stage, but in front of you is one giant ball of light. This light represents an energy ball. Maybe it is a lightning ball or a fireball, or a ball of heat, or the ball, a ball of light, a ball of stars. Maybe it is a combination. Decide right now what color this ball is and decide right now what this ball is made out of, what kind of substance, what kind of energy. And this ball of light represents every kind word that you have ever said to yourself. And every kind word that anyone has ever said to you in your life. Because everything is energy, we are all energy. Every word someone says to you is energy. Every note of music is energy. Every plant, the cry of a baby, the bark of a dog, every thought that we have, it's all essentially energy. Every kind word that has been said to you or that you have said to yourself has somehow crystallized and manifested and turned into this giant ball of light. And you find yourself staring at this ball of light. Perhaps you walk closer towards it and you find yourself examining it. And there are little tiny balls that make up this larger ball. So for example, kind of like holiday lights, and you find yourself reaching with your hands, plucking out individual balls and holding them in your hands. And anytime you pluck out a ball and hold it in your hand, you can hear the word of the phrase. You pluck out a ball, you hear the phrase, and then perhaps you put it back again. You pluck out a ball, you hear the word or phrase, the memory comes back to you and then you put it back again. And suddenly all these memories of all the good things people have said to you and all the good things you've said to yourself come back to you. And you find yourself feeling very strong and very empowered. You notice that some of these balls of light represent fr phrases that you have told yourself during times of hardship, times of sadness. For example, perhaps there was a time when you said to yourself, I am okay, or everything will work out, or this too shall pass, or I have the strength 
to let go of this toxic relationship or this toxic circumstance. My faith carries me through. My place of work is something that I may not have control over, but I have control over my reactions. And you find this ball of light in front of you getting stronger and brighter. It is almost as if your reaction to this ball and your interaction with it is causing it to grow and bloom and swell. It is as if you are feeding it. And it is a beautiful thing and this ball starts to get bigger and bigger. Suddenly this ball seems to almost explode. It takes up your entire vision. And this ball of light expands outward behind you, in front of you, to either side of you. It expands outwards into infinity, out into every single possible direction. Imagine the furthest possible point that human beings are aware of, the furthest possible thing we've ever recorded physically. And then imagine that this light travels even beyond that to galaxies, stars, planets, universes, and realms that perhaps we will never even experience or even understand or even identify. And your body has now essentially transported into another dimension. And at this point, you have entered into a very, very deep state of meditation. In this moment, your body perhaps feels like it is just floating. You feel a lightness. And even though you are aware that you are in a physical world right now, you recognize that you can feel perhaps your feet on the ground, your body in a chair, you can feel part of your body touching a bed or against a wall or on the floor. You realize that these physical sensations, the realization that you are breathing right now, that your eyes are moving back and forth, whether your eyes are closed or open. Perhaps you pay attention to the temperature in the room. You realize all these sensations are merely physical and you find yourself instead focusing on this ball of light that is expanded outwards you find yourself looking out into the distance ahead of you and you notice there is a figure or a shape way, way in the distance. Decide now what figure or what shape is in front of you. All you know is that what is in front of you is some kind of a being. Perhaps it is an animal. Perhaps it is a person and this shape, this figure starts to come closer and closer. And whatever it is that comes closer is very kind and very gentle and very compassionate. And this figure points your way and looks directly into your eyes as it comes closer. And it says to you, you come here. You recognize that this figure, this animal, this being is the exact same as the person that was on stage next to you before. They've just merely shifted form. Perhaps this is your guardian angel, perhaps a spirit guide, perhaps just something floating around who has a message for you. You feel very, very deeply connected to whatever this being is. You know that this being has existed long before recorded human history. This being has existed before the earth had formed. What that means is that this being has watched the entire earth from beginning until present day. This being has seen human history evolve and change and grow. This being has seen everything from dinosaurs to wars to birthday parties. And this being has watched your entire life. 
has seen you from an infant to a child to a teenager up until this present moment. This being has an incredible sense of love for you. This being has seen you through the good, the bad, the struggles, the hopes. They have seen happiness when you have wins in your life or dreams come true. They have seen when choices you have made in your life were hard. They have seen you struggle. And this being comes close towards you and now you are, he, is, he or she or it is standing directly in front of you. And it reaches out its hands. If it doesn't have hands, it reaches out whenever it can to essentially hold your hands and unite and join forces and feel connected. And suddenly this being starts to shift again. And now you are looking directly back at yourself. It is almost as if you are looking in a mirror and you can choose what age this person is. Perhaps this is a younger version of you. Perhaps this is a future version of you. Perhaps it is a present version of you. And you find yourself continuing to hold this person's hand and look in their eyes. And perhaps you've never really taken a moment to really stop and stare and look into your own eyes as odd or strange or unfamiliar as it may seem. And in your journal, I want you to just write down a list of words that come to your mind. Perhaps they, they are messages that you have to tell yourself. Or perhaps they are messages that this being or person is telling you. And these are all messages that have to do with compassion and love and healing. Perhaps messages come to you such as, I am okay, you are enough, you're trying hard, you have the power to let go, I am confident, I am filled with self-love for myself, I recognize my potential. And take a moment to continue writing down some of the words or phrases that are flowing into your mind right now. And as you continue looking into this person's eyes, the eyes start to grow larger and bigger. And inside of these eyes, it is almost like a movie starts playing, like a film. And as you stand there, continuing to hold this person's hands, looking into their eyes, filled with positivity, you start watching the movies or the films reflecting back to you in this person's eyes. These films, these movies are visions of the future for you and for your life. And in these videos, in these films, in this person's eyes are some of the happiest moments that you have yet to experience. These are moments that eventually will come true between this very moment and the moment in your life when you one day take your very last breath. Perhaps you are running in a field with your grandchildren. Perhaps you move into a space or a home where you feel safe and peaceful. Perhaps you are having a conversation with someone who you care about. Perhaps it is a moment when you start a new job or start your retirement. Perhaps it is just a moment when you're just eating a really delicious piece of cake or laughing. And soon these images start to come quicker and quicker. And you start to see multiple kinds of images playing one after the other, one, then another, then another. And soon these images start to play 
and a very rapid succession. It seems like there are hundreds and hundreds of these moments, perhaps even thousands. And it doesn't matter if these moments of joy and happiness represent a second in your life or years of your life where you are happy. And this person's eyes where you are watching these videos, they start to return back to normal eyes and you find yourself coming in to hug this person or this being or this animal. And the two of you embrace and hold each other and in your mind's eye, you can feel your arms squeezing the shoulders and you can feel your own shoulders being squeezed. It is a feeling of true connection and you hold this hug for a long time. And there are no words that need to be said in this moment to each other. Because everything that you need to say is being said in this one hug. Essentially, you are hugging yourself. It doesn't matter if this is a younger version, a present version, or a future version. Or perhaps it is a combination. In this moment, you find yourself expressing gratitude for yourself expressing gratitude for everything that you have ever gone through. And you find yourself recognizing that life is essentially like a series of ocean waves. Sometimes the waves are rising higher, good times, and sometimes the waves start to crash and fall into bad times or dark times. And the beauty of life is that every single person on this call, every single person on this earth, every single person who has ever come before us, every single person alive on this earth now, every single person who will be born and die in the future. No one has ever had a perfect life. And even if your life was perfect from this moment on and you could design it exactly how you want it, you realize that maybe this life wouldn't even necessarily be what you wanted. If you were to snap your fingers right now and have everything that you possibly wanted, maybe there would still be things that you wanted to change. And you accept now that everything in your life has led you to this very moment and this very point. And that being here on a mindfulness journey no matter how far you are on this mindfulness journey is of no significance at all. The commonality is that we are all here together. And this fills you with strength in this moment. Whatever struggles, whatever pains, whatever frustrations you have, you recognize that every person on this call, every person on this earth also has struggles and fears and anxieties. And it is never necessarily a competition about who is struggling more or less. It is merely a recognition and a realization that not only are we all essentially struggling in our own way, whether silently or loudly, we can all express joy in our own ways, whether silently or loudly. And you recognize now and you continue to stand there hugging this being in front of you. You recognize now that some of the greatest joys in your life are the small moments, the whispers, the tiny changes you wish to make in your life. And you feel yourself slowly releasing the hug of the person or being or animal or form in front of you but this feeling of strength and connection is still there it is just as strong as it was a minute ago and suddenly you return back to the stage the concert hall and you are there back on the stage back again with that performer back again staring back at the audience you can see the smiles and the laughter and the faces and the waves. 
and the joy in all the eyes of people around you. And the person on stage takes your hand and together the two of you take a bow to the crowd. In return, every person in the audience at the same time also bows their head back. And for a brief moment, every single person is bowing briefly together. And this bow merely represents a recognition that we are all on common ground and we all essentially want the same things, to be loved, to feel valued, to feel heard, to feel strong, to feel that we have goals that are achievable, that we can work towards, to feel trust in our decisions. The audience starts to fade away. The person on the stage also starts to fade away. And suddenly you are there, back alone, sitting again in that stadium seat by yourself. Even though there is no one there, you can feel as if your body is pulsing with energy and pulsing with electricity. The energy of all the love, all the compassion. It is flowing through your veins. This energy, this vibrancy, just like that beautiful ball of white light, this will never leave you. This energy will be with you for the rest of your life. And from this day forward, when you feel its energy starting to wane or dissipate, you recognize you have the power to brighten it and to bring it back to its full potency. Just like there is always a light shining inside each one of us that never dims, that no one can ever take away, no matter what anyone says to us, no matter what anyone does to us, this light is something that you have the power to turn on like a fire, you have the power to stoke and brighten. And it is only when this fire is blazing, not only can we take care of, our, care of ourselves, we can also take care of others. And that is essentially the most beautiful form that we can all be in. To end this meditation, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to do a free flow brain dump into your journal. You can write how you feel. You can draw a picture. You can write words or phrases, messages. You can write a short letter to yourself. Hey, I'm Reverend Yugen Bond, host of the Enoughism podcast. If you're interested in meditation combined with journaling, check out my community of nearly 1,500 members worldwide at meetup.com slash enoughism dash podcast. For feedback, topic ideas, or to be a guest on the show, email me at enoughismpodcast at gmail.com. Discover more at iamenoughism.com, including transcripts from former episodes, and some of my new experiments with AI-generated meditation music. To support the show, consider donating on my Meetup page or Venmo to at Enoughism. You are enough with what you have and what you are right now. <laughs>